We got here a full Elves Vanyard 2021 in a size 3XL, which is a 56, weighing at 14 pounds, seven ounces, and in kilos, 6.56 kilos. Pedals, cages, everything. Stay tuned to after video where we're free body sound test on those wheels right there. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And today I have you guys a very special build. This is the bicycle brand known as Elves, and this is their Vanyard build. They're a China branded company that make uh, open carbon molded frames. Uh, this is my first time actually getting to see an Elves bike in person, and the quality of it's actually pretty nice. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about this whole build up, the whole look of this bike. Everything on this bike is a Chinese variation of a component. The only thing that's not that you didn't buy from AliExpress or uh, from China is the group set, the Altega group set. And also the cranks, which we'll get into in a little bit, talk about those. You can see those, those are 100 millimeter cranks. Um, I'll talk about those in a little bit, but this whole bike is an absolute insane build. As you guys saw the weight of it, just at 6.5 kilos, this is a size 3XL, which is a size 56. Their size is a little bit different, but a 56 is usually considered like a large on any other bike, but in the L's frame, it's a 3XL. The ride is about 6'1 or 6 foot, so keep that in mind. But uh, this was not given to me. I did not buy this bike. What's up, dude? This is not given to me. I did not buy this bike. This is actually just a rider's bike that I know of that uh, he was very generous to let me do a video on his bike. So I got a chance to look at this bike. And like I said, the construction of it seems very, very cool. Um, so without further ado, let me go over the components of this build and talk about everything that's on here. I think the total build quality he said without the group set on there, frame, handlebar stem, seat post, wheels, brakes, uh, is like $2,000. And then on top of that, you have the group set, which he said was like 1200 bucks for the electronic Altegra uh, 11 speed. But one, one, one thing I want to say, aesthetics of this bike looks really good. You have a lot of carbon down here by this bottom bracket area. The paint scheme looks very nice. The finishing on the paint scheme looks very nice. Uh, the quality of all the, all the, the joint points as well, they look really, really clean. I do like it a lot. You do have a rider weight limit right here, 220 pounds. This is more of a lightweight climbing bike. Um, but man, this, this bicycle build is beautiful. Uh, and I know what you guys are thinking. Those are not the wheels you guys are probably thinking. These are by x Lite, I believe. And I am gonna tag this guy down below um, his Instagram, so that way if you guys do have any questions, you guys can hit him up and follow him. He's a monster of a rider, he's still out there. Uh, he did have an accident um, where he had to get some, you know, some, some rods, some reconstruction surgery on his legs, um, but nothing crazy. So he had to get, he doesn't have as much range of motion in his pedal stroke. So these are actually 100 millimeter cranks on here. And believe it or not, guys, just riding over to the spot, you lose the leverage when you're going this small on the bike. So he's putting in a lot of work to do these climbs, to do the flats, to put in power, to accelerate. Uh, it is crazy. Even just backpedaling, you feel the difference of it. And he actually made these cranks himself. I think they were FSA. He actually cut them down and then drilled a hole himself and tapped them, everything like that. And uh, yeah, he did a really good job. But th this is a really cool bike. So without further ado, let's get into the whole build. So this is the Elves Vanyard frame. Like I said, the bicycle came with the frame. It comes with the seat post and it comes with the bottom rack on there as well. He did also get the handlebar and stem combination from Elves. This is, I believe, a $200 add-on uh, for a one-piece integrated carbon fiber bar and stem on here. Uh, we do have on here a Shimano 11-speed group set, two gears in the front, 11 in the rear, but just the old Shimano 11-speed DI2. On this bar, it does have a little uh, integrated mount here for a Garmin and also a light underneath here. And then you run the junction box underneath there as well. But uh, the finishing work on the bar looks very good. Nice little open mold bar and stem combo. You have the little Elves logo right there. You have your stem cap here and then your bolts as well. The frame and the paint, like I said, this paint scheme is really nice. I believe this is a 2021 uh, one piece molding technology, uh, OPM. And then like I said, you just have their, their Vanyard. You have a bunch of their little like logos around here. You have the sizing on here. Frame set five year global warranty. Painting designs in Hong Kong. And then this bottom bracket looks like a T47 bottom bracket. I'll double check that for sure, but it looks very badass. So for, this is where it starts to get interesting. For the brakes on here, this is a disc or a rim brake bike. These brakes look very familiar. These are a very super light brake. These are the EE Cycle Works brakes. But, <laughs> but these are not actually EE Cycle Works brakes. Uh, and EE Cycle Works brakes, I believe retail for like four to $500 per brake caliper. So they're usually about $1,000 for the set. These he got on, if you guessed it, AliExpress. The set of these brakes, I believe he said, was about $170 for front and rear. Stupid light, 
they look great. He said the stopping power is insane. My one question to him was, how is the longevity? Because these brakes are so light, the parts are way more uh, lighter and more brittle. He's got over 3,000 miles on there. You can see some of the corrosion on here. But he said no issues with longevity on this bike. Uh, it's still stopping, still braking. He did a horrible 100 as well, where it was some descents and climbing on there. And he had no issues stopping on there as well. He said it stopped better than his a mechanical Altegra brakes. So, uh, and they're stupid light for what they are. They have, he said, the, <laughs> I don't want to get into all the packaging of that, but he said that they're just stupid light for what they were. I forget the exact weight, but um, it's a really cool looking brake. I, I, these these brakes used to be like the pinnacle of rim brake brakes you can get for your bikes. Uh, they used to come on the ultralights for the specialized back in the day. Absolutely love them, and it's crazy to see. So those are the E Cycle Horse brakes. For the wheels, these are called X Light wheels. These are a full carbon fiber hub. I'm sorry, a full carbon fiber rim. They look like a very familiar pattern for the rim as well. Uh, you have a bladed spoke, which is just a safe spoke, I believe, and then just their own stock hubs. Uh, he said the weight for these wheels front and rear were like. 1,127 grams, which is crazy stupid light. Again, I think he's got this set for about $500 or $600. And my main question was, with a wheel set so light, how is it with longevity and how is it with uh, maintaining um, durability? Again, 3,000 miles, the only issue he had, he had one broken spoke in the rear and he replaced it just because he said he hit a pothole. But again, the actual brakes, the actual wheels themselves have been holding up really nice. Has his own little custom skewers there, nothing crazy. They do give different hub options as well if you wanted to choose them, but those are just the stock ones he chose. But so far, I was blown away by it. Again, for the amount of weight and everything this bike is, it's crazy. So again, you go down to the Ellis paint job on here. We have a carbon fiber cage here, carbon fiber cage here. I'm gonna guess AliExpress. And then you have your other crank arm right here. These are just blowing, blowing my mind. When I first saw the bike, I was like, wow, it's a really cool bike, you know, cool concept. But this just blew my mind. He's still out there riding. He's still putting miles out and just dedicated to the sport. So 100 millimeter crank arms, which is insane. He has six other bikes. He has mountain bikes as well. He has companies making them different cranks as well. Usually he makes them himself, but it is really cool to see that, the dedication he puts into to riding, which is really cool. For this Ellis frame, you have the little bolt seat and tire right here. Torque spec, boom. You have a carbon fiber seat post with the Ellis. It just looks like a 27.2 seat post on here. And then going down to the chain ring, it's a 5339 chainring. Uh, I believe it's just an FSA chainring. And then you have an Altegra front derailleur and an Altegra chain. Nothing crazy here. And then you have the bottom bracket, like I said, the T47. Going to the rear, we have an 1128 cassette by Altegra. Actually, I'm sorry, 1125. And then an Altegra rear derailleur uh, DI2. And these are, if I had to guess, look like uh, AliExpress pulley wheels as well. And then for the brake, the rear brake again is the same as the front. You can see here, I mean, even, even the detail here, the EE there, the EE there. I mean, literally, they stop very, very nice. Um, same wheels as the front as the rear. And then for the tires on here, we have Grand Prix 4000 S and the Model 2 version. I haven't seen these tires in forever. I think these are 700 by 23 millimeters, old school. I love to see it. And the front bike, he has a TPU tube, a Pirelli. And the rear, he just has a regular, um, butyle tube on there but absolute beautiful bike very gorgeous cool looking um you guys will hear a free buy sound test on that uh hub in the back and then for the saddle to top it off with the cherry on top if you had a guess where the saddle came you guys can take a guess i think it was around 30 40 bucks it is a ec90 saddle there's a company who makes one of these carbon fiber rails carbon fiber body Nice little cutout. This is a very, very normal looking saddle. Nice wide cutout, nice little blood floor right here as well. And again, I think he said he got it for like 30, 40 bucks. So the whole build on here without the group set was around $2,000, but the build on this thing is beautiful. So this is the 2021 Elves Vanyard climbing frame bike with custom build up from AliExpress wheels, X-Lite wheels, Elves own integrated bar and stem combination. We have a knockoff of EE Cycleworks brakes and his own custom 100 millimeter uh, cranks on there. It's just a crazy build. Stupid light build. Longevity has been great. Durability has been great. The bike has performed and uh, I'm very excited. So thank you. Big shout out to him. I will tag his Instagram down below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, is this a build that you guys will probably want to do? I have seen elves being taken over more. They, they give a lot of color choices. They give a lot of uh, model choices. You can go rim brake, disc brake. 
they give a lot of options. So they are coming up bigger and bigger in terms of availability for bicycles uh, and choices in terms of the carbon fiber world out there. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys right, next week. Here comes a free on these uh, x Light wheels, I believe. Here you go. And they're smooth too. Mm -hmm. And they're very smooth. The wheels. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.